Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today I'm focusing on the low health series, so let's get started. Today's video is going to be about how to play animations when you're low health. So, this is going to be really easy, just follow along and enjoy. So basically, we're playing an animation whenever we're under a certain amount of health, and that animation should be seen by all other players, not just yourself. So we can do that. So let's go ahead and animate. So if we go ahead and create a build rig, or go and build a rig, we can create a block rig right here. And with this block rig, we can animate it. So if we go to animation editor, and then we press on a rig, we can create an animation down here or wherever it popped up for you and type in low health and that will be our animation so my animation is going to be an action where the character is basically just like limping so for for me to do that i'm just going to set the animation priority to action so we can play it and you should too then we're going to set it to looped all right and then we're going to create a animation for it so he's going to be like this and his arm is going to be like he's like holding his stomach because he got hit or something and maybe we should turn off move up here we're going to have right here Boom. Move this down. Now he looks like he's like in pain. When really our Roblox guy is just doing just fine. He's having fun. And maybe have him bent over a little bit more. We have a keyframe for this arm. Make sure. And this arm right here. This little hand right here. And that's all we got to do. Now it won't look really weird. Uh, we also should have one right here and our head so it doesn't move. Then we can just go ahead and save. Export as low health animation. Limping. You can just change the description wherever you want. Press submit. And don't press close just yet. If you did, I'll help you. Just press copy this little button right here. Copy it. And then you can press close. And if you pressed um if you pressed it too fast, then go back here to these little three dots. Go to export. And you can export it again and get the ID. Alright. Uh now right here we have the little save. We can close out of this and animation editor if you guys didn't set it to action on the priority make sure you go back and watch how you do that alright now to the next step we have the ID so we have to create a script now right here and this script is going to manage the character so we can also put this in starter character scripts and let's just call this low health and now we're going to do local character eco script parent local animation equals this ID or local animation ID equals this and then we're also going to have local humanoid equals character find first child humanoid Okay, so now this is really easy. We're gonna do while well, wait do if humanoid dot health is less than or equal to forty, then we'll do the uh, animation. But first, we have to do local animation. Or a local loaded animation 
equals humanoid load animation and we'll have animation ID and now if we go here uh, we can also do else load animation stop and right here load animation play and now in theory that should work we might have a little error but we also have this little part right here that damages us the script for this is in the description so let's just press play here and see if it works unable to cast value to object so that's an issue what we can do is actually create this as a string value and we can try that nope well that's just fine we can go to replicate storage and create an animation in the animation paste the ID in call this low health anim and then we can just load the animation equals to game.replicate storage find first child low health anim and animation now let's try let's get hurt under 40 yep as you can see it works now we're running away we're scared we're low health and it stopped after we healed up that's great so we just keep getting hurt again uh, it hurts uh, perfect so this is the finished script here's the low health animation and here's the kill part so this took only two things to do and now you have your own little uh, death thing and if we combine this with our other things like our uh, sound effect heartbeat thing and we did this with the um, GUI the blood GUI it would look awesome so I might do that and post it on my discord discord in the link down below in the description and if you guys want to check that out go uh, check it out right now it's awesome and yeah so that was it um, if you guys want to put this in your game it's free I really don't care if you credit me or not because I'm just showing you guys this is a tutorial um, if you guys want to copy this uh, the link to a paste bin will be in the description along with this script and the low health animation you guys can use this one too I'll put that in the description down below too so yeah see you guys later bye